Dear students, in this module, I am going to introduce to you Protein Data Bank. The position of alpha carbons tell you where the backbone of the protein is going and that if you have X-ray crystallography experimental apparatus, then you can also measure it experimentally. Lots of people have been doing these experiments to measure the position of alpha carbons within specific proteins and they have collected lots of information on how different proteins and their backbones they look like. For you to explore this data, you need to know the protein data bank. The protein data bank contains information on the X, Y and Z coordinates of different alpha carbons within a large variety of proteins. Let's take a look. Every year, more and more people are giving in their experimental results to the protein data bank. And you can see from this graph that in year 2015, we have nearly 100,000 submissions to the protein data bank. So these are just the yearly growths, the cumulative growth of the protein structures that are there in the data bank. The protein data bank file format in which the structure of protein is reported contains some header information. For instance, it contains a brief description of the structure, the date and the ID of this protein. You can also give it a title, the structure title, and you can talk about the details of the structure as well as the organism from where this structure came and some useful phrases that describe this structure. You can also deposit your name if you have run experiment and determined this structure as well as the last date of revision. Beside these attributes, there is some additional information that is also available. For instance, the journal reference and some remarks about the structure as well as the cross references to the other database. You can also specify the amino acid sequence as well as the secondary structure that is there from the sequence. Lastly, and most importantly, the atom positions. So these atom positions, they give you the coordinates of particular atoms in the protein structure. They are labeled by atom and I'll show you an example of the PDB file and this is the information which tells you about the location of each alpha carbon atom. This is an example PDB file and each row here it shows different atoms that are there in a protein backbone. So here you can see the atom attribute and here you see the CA or C alpha along with its X coordinate, Y coordinate and Z coordinate. So by collecting all such C alphas and their coordinates, you can actually plot the backbone of the protein. To go online and uh, review the PDB, you can simply go to rcsp.org slash PDB and you will come up with this portal. It is one of the best resources on the protein structure for you. And you can simply start by inputting the name of your protein or the ID here and searching it. So once you search the protein of your choice, then you will see the results of your search like that. The title and other information will be given here on top. And here you can see the little structure of this protein in which I was interested. That was ubiquitin. And you also can view detailed information about this protein by clicking here. And this is how the structure looks like. And you can also play with it. You can rotate it to see different secondary structures. I can already see an alpha helix here and some beta sheets in yellow and maybe a loop here and there. So this is a very interesting resource for you if you are interested in the protein structures 
and this information essentially helps you trace the alpha carbons in the backbone of proteins and visualize them. So in conclusion, the PDB gives you detailed information on thousands of proteins and their structures. So you can look at the CA attribute or the carbon alpha attribute within the PDB file of a protein, extract X, Y and Z coordinates and connect each alpha carbon with the other in 3D and visualize the structure of the protein. Also, once you have visualized the structure of the protein, then you can annotate it with the side chains and this will be a step towards completing the model of the protein of your choice.